What's up guys? It's Raquel here and I am back with an update for my Outre small box spray unit. I guess the Outre expression small box spray unit. Yeah, that's an awful. But this is this is in fact the same box spray unit I have wet set this unit. What that means is if you didn't see my first video, please check out that first video so you understand what I'm talking about. This unit has a hot water setting so that you can curl the unit. Remember I talked about that in the first video that I recorded for this video. This is the update video on how it's holding up. I kind of talked a bit about the updates in my reggae small twist video, but this is the real update video for this. I have remixed this whole unit because all I did was I platted the whole unit and then I, and they, they were in big, big braids. I did not do really small braids. I plaited the whole thing in really big, tight braids. I made sure to braid it tight because I knew that I wanted the definitions. The bottom part was the most challenging part because the ends were so stick straight. That and you know, it's sometimes when you braid, it's uneven, so you have to make sure because there's little knots to keep the braids together that you're not taking out those knots while braiding. Also, it's best to use tiny rubber bands to hold your ends together. Now, to get the ends totally curly like this, what I did was I plaited the whole unit and then I took all of the plaits in their big form. And I made bigger plaits by using, like, let's say three plaits per one big braid. And I put the rubber band at the bottom. That was to ensure that all of the ends were curly and all of the ends were braided. I then dipped them in a really hot pot of water. I did not use a jumbo pot. I used, like, a little small pot that you would maybe put water in for tea and then I dip the braids like how you would, you know how when you go get your hair done at the shop, they probably take a hot little cup. And I just dipped, I dipped them like this in the pot and I held the pot like this and I dipped them like this. The wig was not on my head because the water is so hot. So I would not advise you to keep this on your head because the water is so hot that you want to have a towel nearby also so that the water does not drip all over the place and the hot, you don't want the hot water to get on you when you have to rest the wig down. And I did this in my kitchen and laid the wig on a, a towel on the counter once I was done dipping all of the braids. I let it sit and I folded it up in the towel and I let it sit in the towel for at least 30 minutes. And then I began to take out the braids. Now they were a bit damp, but it really doesn't matter because this is not really your real hair. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to wait when you wet set synthetic hair for it to totally dry, especially on this because it says it's specifically made for hot water curl setting. So, I mean, some hairs, like if this, this was human hair, you would probably have to wait for it to dry because you would end up with a frizzy mess taking out plaid. But this, honey, this is like, oh my God, I love this unit, guys. I'm also going to be styling this unit in different ways in the video. So just stay tuned and watch and you're going to see the first style. So this first style is me actually, I have a half up, half down style. Let me get up close so you guys can see it. This is how my unit is looking and how my hairline looks with this unit. It's definitely a good look. Make sure I have this side kind of down a bit. Yeah, it's definitely a good look. So you can see my baby hairs are pulled out. Let me show you guys how it looks down. Because right now it's half up, half down. And when I do this, I don't put all of the hair. I only put the side parts of the hair up. I don't put the middle part because that makes when you do a bun, like, Let's say, okay, let me get the other part of this. And let me kind of move back. 
let's say you wanted to do a bun, a messy little bun. <laughs> Let me come back into the viewfinder. Like, let's say you wanted to do a messy, I need my bobby pins, but let's say you wanted to do like a little messy bun like this, right? Your bun would be entirely way too heavy if you were to put all of the hair from the top up. So I'm going to start by taking this down and showing you how it looks all down. And you want to make sure you have your combs in so that your hair does not shift. So this is how it looks all down. Isn't this really pretty? Like, let's look at the parting for this. Okay, back this it's hard in this viewfinder when I'm this way. Okay, so this is what it looks like all down. Let's look at this parting in there. Guys, there's tons of parting room. It's hard, like, finding the direction. It's like everything in the camera is, like, the opposite direction that you want it to go. But you guys see that parting? That's from me putting pressed powder. So this really looks like box braids. Now, the first style is you could take this little section here, and I'm just twisting it. You could do a braid too, and I just place it back like this, and I do the same for this side. But I want to show you guys the accessories I got, and I really got the accessories because I really like this hair up and what it looks like. So I'm going to come back on the frame with the hair and how it looks like up in a high ponytail for those of you who want to see the front and the back. So be right back. Okay, here I am back on frame, and I have put my hair in a high ponytail. Now, I'm gonna, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about how to achieve this high ponytail. Like, I'm trying to get it all to the middle, guys. But this is my high ponytail. I have some hair hanging down in the back, and I also have, like, um, like a little turban thingy going on. You might want to make sure when you're doing your high ponytail that you use bobby pins. I didn't use bobby pins because um, this particular unit, to me, is not a heavy unit. Uh, the unit that would be a one that you would definitely have to wear bobby pins with and it's a lot of trouble getting up is the reggae twist one. So just keep that in mind when you're getting these units. To achieve this high ponytail... What you're going to use is you're going to use this, right? But you're not going to, like, put it on like a headband. What you're going to do is you're, where this thing is, you're going to cut it right there, cut both sides, and you're just going to use this line. And what you do is you hold all of the hair over like this, and you grip it with your hand, and then you take one of the fingers, your hands, and you tie it around like a shoelace, and then you tie it in the back. And I'm just wearing a turban, a little turban that I got from Aeropostale over Valentine's Day. Um, I don't like Aeropostale, but their clothing, but I definitely was failing your accessories. You could also use this to achieve your bun. Let me try to get all this hair together. Like if you wanted to do a high bun, you would need bobby pins. But that's all you would do to get your bun, to kind of like clean it up. You see what I'm saying, guys? And this is how it looks. Your braided lace front in a bun. I have hair in the back. Of course, if I was going to do this look for like a date or anything like that, this bun is like huge. I would take my time with bobby pins and use the bobby pins. <laughs> but... Let me show you guys the back. This is how the back of the turban looks. I have some braids hanging down. 
So you definitely can put this particular box spray one up in an updo. So let's take this down. And when I take this down, I'm going to show you guys what I mean by have like a tie from a hairband. So this is how this is going to look when you take it off. It's best to use like a shoestring or something because regular ponytail holders, they don't expand long enough. I don't know if anybody has ever had an Afro puff or your natural. You know the struggle of trying to fit your hair in a ponytail holder like this, especially when you have a lot of it. So it doesn't really work out that well. So I don't use those. I only use this when I do like the half up, half down hairstyle. So let's Baywatch shake it back out. <laughs> Guys, do you see how pretty this is? This is like really pretty. You could just leave it down. You could put it all to one side. Let's see what a flower accessory looks like in it. I'll be back when I have it in. Right, with the flower, this unit has a lot of versatility. And I love it. Like, I love it wearing it all on one side. But I definitely like it wavy more than I liked it straight. I liked it straight, but everybody has straight box braids. It's kind of boring to me. And it kind of gets boring as you go on wearing it. So what I did was I just bought a ton of these accessories for my box ray unit i love this flower too a lot just got i think my mom just got me this one i wear flowers because they make me happy and this does have mesh so you can find like an opening so where it doesn't rip your unit but wearing flowers is really cute in these units just make sure you don't snag the braids with the clamps also got these pretty little ties. And I think this is so cute. Oh, I didn't take out this part of it. Oh, I didn't want to really rip that. I need to get my scissors, guys. But I like this look as well with this type of stuff. But let me see how it looks. When I place the hairband on. This, these things get kind of tight too. <laughs> Sorry to unroll. This would be so cute even as a necktie thing. Like a choker. Sometimes I wear my headband things as chokers. It's really choking me at this point. Not seriously but. Okay, once you fluff it out, you figure out which side you want it on. Which I want mine. And you just move it back. Little. This is a lace band, so I'm just trying to make sure that it goes in the correct spot. <laughs> Sorry, figuring out where the heck this thing is. Did I like make a mess? I think I did. Oh, there's like tears with this. I'm just trying to fluff out the ball. But I also wear these type of things in it of course i would have the lace stretched out guys so that you would be able to see it let's work on that i'm like why the heck do i always close my eyes when i'm trying to like <laughs> do something okay so this is how this looks sometimes i wear my hair like this when i go to school for days, I just want to be cute. By the way, I am 24. Everybody is like, you look hecka young. Or hella young. I got this one too. It's like so cute. I think I kind of messed up the flow of this one. I might have to... 
this is hot glue gun. I'm gonna have the hot glue gun that back. I don't think that was supposed to come out. But yeah, you guys get the point. I also got this cute jean one. But I wear a lot of this type of stuff. This wig is very versatile. You guys will love this unit. Should I attempt to show you the half up, half down on camera? A lot of people want to know how that looks. So this is how I originally had it. I don't really like that much hair on either side, like up like that. But when I first came on camera, this is how I had it. So basically it looks like that. But I wouldn't have that much hair up. But guys, this is my update on this unit. I hope you guys enjoy this unit. And if you don't know what unit I'm talking about, if you've been watching and you just do not know, this is the Outre Expressions small box for a unit. And I advise the small one. I'm having so much fun with the small box for a unit. You can wear high ponytails, half up, half down, side parts. I think you can achieve a middle part, but... The way I have my cornrows set up too, if I wanted to achieve a middle part, I would have to maybe take out these two braids right here to make it flatter. Yeah, I would have to definitely, and I would put it behind my hairline, which it is behind my hairline right now, but right here in this front area or all you would have to do is bobby pin this down until it starts molding flat because the way that they have it is it's down or it's going back or like down like in a downwards direction so you would all you, all you would have to do is just i guess put a scarf on but guys thank you for watching and Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like the hair looks and the versatility of this wig. Tell me if you got the wig, what you didn't like about the wig. But I definitely enjoyed this way, way more than I enjoyed my Ultra Expressions Reggae Small Twist. Why? Because it has more, it's fuller in the back, more braids in the back, or either it's wider than twist. Because the twist one, it kind of, I guess they got kind of cheapy with the twist in the back but I don't know what was up with that I definitely will be purchasing or in the future I would purchase this in the future so just keep checking out my channel and I plan on reviewing other braided lace wrench units in the next couple of weeks I kind of have been eyeing free trust trinity or tilly so we'll see. I'm just really enjoying Outre's braided lace fronts. Like, I kind of don't want to try, like, lace fronts that aren't braided. I just want to keep experimenting with these braided lace fronts because, honestly, it literally looks like you've spent money to get your hair braided. It's absolutely, what's the word I'm looking for? It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving it. So take care, guys, and I'll talk to you guys later.